So designing a value added promotion is actually really simple. Value adding does not have to be formal and it can be individualized. So identify your most profitable product, identify the product that is the easiest to sell, and identify the product that everyone needs. For the car dealership example, we talked about the luxury car salesman. Let's look at how he can value add. Step one, we're gonna identify the most profitable product or service at the dealership. If he sold the beater car, the dealership might profit $300. But if he sells the luxury car, the dealership might profit $2,500. So his product that is the most profitable is the luxury car. The product, step two, identify the product that is easiest to sell. The product that is easiest to sell at the dealership is your oil changes. Step three, identify the product that everybody needs. That's easy, a car wash. So if you bought a luxury car and you got three free oil changes and three free car washes, as consumers, we understand the value of oil changes and car washes. We not, might not feel a huge discount if you said $500 off the luxury car because it's very expensive, but oil changes and car washes, albeit small expenses for a dealership, are something that we consumers can relate to and understand the value of in the long run.